Hello, my name is Reverend Chris Taylor and today I'm going to offer a, a reflection of this time of great upheaval in all our lives. At a time when our young people are confused and worried, frightened even, about the outcome of their exams, whether it be A-levels or GCSEs, when at the moment there seems no clear way forward. At a time when our care system is on its knees, I'm wondering just how important our elderly people in care are to us as a nation. And all the confusion and worry that that brings. At a time when hundreds of frightened, desperate refugees are trying to reach safety and sanctuary here in the UK. And we seem not to be able to welcome them to safety in the way that we have done for so many generations. At a time when we think we may have COVID under control, at a time when many are still frightened and concerned about the dangers of COVID. I think it's important for us to realise that we're not alone in our confusion and anxiety. Human confusion and anxiety has been around for a very, very long time. And so today we're going to have a think and a look at Psalm 23. I'm going to read it to you first. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. Words of comfort and encouragement. I hope that this will help you in your reflecting on where God is when we when we most need God. What a wonderful thing it is to be loved unconditionally an all encompassing and surrounding love where we can rest confidently in that love. Our needs are provided for 
there is sufficient for everyone. We are provided with places to rest, to recharge. to become ourselves again. Wherever we may be. There is that beauty and that calm which only God can provide. And surely with all that, our souls shall be refreshed and we shall be renewed. And in the course of that, we can remember the right ways of being, the ways we want to be, the person that we aspire to be. And all for God. However frightened and dreadful things may seem, wherever we may find ourselves threatened and overwhelmed, God is with us. There is no need to fear. We may not sense God. We may not even believe in God. God is with us. He may even be carrying us. He may be in the middle of us, invisible but present, surrounding us with comfort and love in an all embracing hug. It is God's nature to be generous. I have this beautiful picture of this table laid with food, groaning under the weight of abundant generosity. And there, the things that frighten us, the things and the people that threaten us, the things we struggle with and cannot understand, even then, God shows us the way, prepares us for our journeys, whatever they may be, with that amazing abundance and generosity that is God's character and God's way. We can therefore be in no doubt that with God leading us, all those wonderful gifts of peace and calm, of goodness that we all aspire to, a mercy which we all hope to receive and try, sometimes unsuccessfully, to offer. That in that leading of God, those gifts shall follow us. And we can draw on them throughout our lives. And doing that, we find ourselves present with God in God's house, wherever we may be. God's house is the beach, the field, our homes, the 
corridors we walk in, the offices we sit in. And those beautiful those places will change, but it will always be God's house for us forever. Amen. I hope that that was helpful and that you feel rested and confident in God's love and care for you.